Say shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is Amma One from the Great Millstone camp here in Trinidad. Um, coming back with another lesson, you know. Um, this go basically be touching on the RFID microchip, which. We keep hopping on, hopping on, hopping on to warn you people, which Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, the living God, alright, give us the knowledge, wisdom and understanding to understand these things were written in the scriptures, alright, because, you see, this, this is a, a important factor in prophecy and in the times we're living in, which the mark of the beast coming to pass, is, a, is right around the corner so we had to keep hopping on it to um, let the people in the world know what time it is because the scripture say in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 it reads wisdom is the principal thing alright there's no way uh, I don't, I don't go back on it. It come off. Proverbs four, four seven. It says wisdom is the principal thing, and a principal. Me, me look up. What do you would principal mean? Wisdom is the principal, the principal thing. Come from the Hebrew word. It's no. Can okay, I go in it? It's not hold on. Right, so you kept just say wisdom is the principal thing, right? The principal thing. So I'm gonna look up the word um the the principal thing, the beginning, the best, the chief thing. Alright? Come from the Hebrew word um Ra Shayath. Ra 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 Shayath, alright? Ra Shayath. Um, the first, the beginning, the chief, the beginning, the chief, the choice part. So that is, that is like the beginning. That is how we come into the shoot. You get wisdom. That is how we understand the scriptures. You know, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit descend upon you. And you begin what? That is the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of that. You understand? So that is the principal thing. Alright? It says what? The first in place, time, order, or rank. So that is where it starts with. The fear of the Lord and then you get wisdom. Alright, but then what the scripture go on to say? Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Alright, with everything you get, make sure you understand what it is you're into. Make sure you understand what the scripture is saying. Make sure you understand what time we're living in. This is the reason why Yahweh Shai, you know, had to say, um, let me get a precept there quick. Matthew 16 and 1. It says the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting him desired that desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When is it even when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and when it, and in the morning it will be a it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Alright? Because they didn't understand. They could discern certain things, but they didn't understand fully what time it, what time there was in. They didn't understand fully. Look the Lord right in front of here, you here now. The time is fulfilled. Alright? The kingdom of heaven is, be, is being prepared. Alright? They couldn't understand that, but they could have understand um, things like when the morning is come, when 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 fall weather coming, but the signs are the times they couldn't get. Right, yeah. So look, this is the precept I was looking for, and he said also to the people, when you see 
a cloud rise out of the west straight where you say there come a shower and so it is and when you see the south wind blow you say there will be heat and it come to pass ye hypocrites ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth but how is it that ye cannot discern this time because they don't have the holy spirit now men with the holy spirit will discern the time we live in the will discern that now is the time when Esau go and implement this RFID microchip technology which he been working on for all these years. You understand? Because why? They have understanding. They, they, with all they get in, they get. They got the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. So now they could go into Revelation, alright, 13. And they could start from one and break it down from one to the last verse and show you that um, the mic. The microchip, the mark of the beast is actually a RFID microchip, and it's not something that you think it is. It's not Christianity, and it's not um, uh, uh, 666 men which rule America and the planet Earth, and it's not um, an embargo, and it's not Sunday worship, but it's actually a RFID microchip. But people who can discern that. Alright, what they're gonna do is come up with pull some bullshit out of the asses. Either they get either they take money from Esau or they do so and the most high just not dealing with them. Some or the other. Because the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. And we're living in the time when Esau go and get ready to implement it on a full scale. So now is why we give warning, we teach about it, we push it, we prophesy it. Is the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. Revelation 13 verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast Now over numerous times this isn't talking about Caesar Borgia This is actually talking about the Roman Empire coming back Whose deadly wound was healed Alright So that is why he and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast The, the, the beast is nature and the eel Which came back in the same image of ancient Rome all right, and Esau give it life, bring it back to life. That's why people operating like fucking Romans right now. Homosexuality, all kind of freakism, and just like it was in ancient Rome, the same way it is now on the face of the earth. Because the image speaking right now, that the image that the image of the beast should both speak. That is it. The talking right. It, it, it literally is seeing every single thing that going on and used to happen in ancient Rome happening in over here on the Western Hemisphere. That is what's going on right now. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Now let me just look up that word mark for argument's sake, alright? For argument's sake, let me look up that word mark. Um, and he calls it all both small and great, which I'm for free and born to receive a mark. Mark comes from the Greek word charagma. Strong's G, 5480. Charagma. Charagma. Alright, a stamp and imprinted a mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti Messiah. The mark branded upon horses, the thin carved sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. So now, think about 15 years down the road. The way how digital currency looking to play off right now. Just think about 15 years down the road, right? Esau in power still, Lord forbid, right? You ain't think the paper dollar will be done away with? 15, alright, 10 years. Down the road, the way how things moving at a rapid pace right now, people have hardly having time to uh, um, walk around with cash, they're walking around with credit cards. All right, you didn't feel Esau going and come with that RFID microchip. That RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, and he going and come with it subtil and subtility because that is how he does come. He does speak peace, but war in his heart. The scripture declare that. All right. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without it, you cannot buy nor sell because it is the RFID microchip. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Because the RFID microchip 
is an instrument for buying and selling, all right? Also for tracking you. NFC RFID microchips are the mark of the beast. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. Niawa Basham, Yawashai Brakatam.